Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the definition of periodic signals. Periodic signals. In the case of continuous signals, in the case of continuous signals, if there exists a positive value t a positive value t such that the value of the signal x of t is equal to x of t plus the capital t that is if this condition is true or if this relation is true then x of t is a periodic signal and the value t t is known as the period and the smallest value of t of t is known as the fundamental period from this relation we can clearly see that x of t is equal to x of t plus m into t where m is an integer. From this relation, we can clearly see that if x of t is equal to x of t plus t, then x of t plus t is equal to x of t plus 2 times t. That means this value should be equal to the value of the signal at when you translate it by the value capital T. And if you repeat the process m times, it should be equal to x of t plus m into t. Similarly, for discrete signals, x of n is equal to x of n plus n, where n is a positive integer. integer. Then here, x of n is a periodic signal with period n. Let us look at a graphical representation of the periodic signal. Basically, is the same structure repeats at regular intervals. So, if it is 0, this should be equal to minus t and this should be equal to plus t. And for any signal x of t, if there is no capital T, there is no capital T such that x of t is equal to x of t plus capital T, then x of t is an aperiodic signal. That is, it is not a periodic signal. That means the signal structure does not repeat with time. For example, an exponential function, for example, an exponential function e of minus t is a aperiodic signal. This is e of minus t. It is exponential of minus t is an aperiodic signal. And a good example of periodic signal is sine of 2 pi into t by capital T. Now let us look at some simulations to illustrate the periodic signals. Here is a periodic signal that has an exponential structure in each period and it repeats with a period of 295 points or time unit. Here the fundamental period is clearly equal to 290 time units that is the value here is around 150 and this is close to 440 and then we have the next repetition basically the this value or this gap is the fundamental period and this one is a, then 2 times the fundamental period that is 2 times the t that means the capital T is equal to 290 and this is 2 times t and the basically the structure repeats is also a periodic signal and here the fundamental period is the gap between these two peaks which is also equal to the wavelength of the signal. So to summarize, the periodic signals have a structure in the fundamental period that basically repeats in the consecutive or consequent periods. And for the periodic signals, the signal structure does not repeat. Thanks for watching.